All right. It is February 7th, 2020, and I just passed the FAA Part 107 uh, drone certification. So I want to give you my tidbits because I just took the test. I just got back to my office. Um, so let's talk about it. The first thing, I'm not an expert. I started studying this stuff last night and I studied this morning. I took the test today. I passed it with an 88. I felt like I didn't do well and I had no idea what my score was going to be uh, until I actually got the number. So I am not an expert, but if you're also not an expert and you're going to take this test, I want to give you a couple tips uh, from taking it. So the first thing is the practice questions that are out there, um, at least the ones that I did, the free ones uh, that I got from Gary Glenn and uh, the Northup videos are dated. They're, they're good. They're not bad but they're dated. In me, I fell in love with kind of memorizing those questions and doing those questions a couple of times and feeling comfortable, but then getting into the test and seeing very different questions. So don't fall in love with the practice questions. Make sure you know the principles around them. Uh, the next thing is sectional charts. I felt like this entire test was sectional charts. I mean, most of the time I was going to, they give you a book and I was going to these sectional charts all the time. So if you're going to spend extra time on something, definitely dive into sectional charts. Um, the weather, you know, reading the weather stuff is important. Uh, but there was only a couple questions on that. There was a ton of stuff on reading the sectional charts. Uh, my big tip that I found that helped out a bunch is you're going to get a question and it's going to reference a sectional chart or or something else that's in this big book that they give you as soon as you read the question go to the book first and find the sectional chart it's referencing before you even look at the question go to the image first it's going to give you uh the the page it's on or not the page but the the figure it is so it'll say figure 25 and then you turn to figure 25 and then also give you the the section of figure 25 so it'll say figure 25 number two. So you go to figure 25, then you go to number two. Then at that point, you read the question, right? But if you're reading the question, you start to get a little bit flustered, then you're trying to find the map and do everything else. Uh, it can throw you off. So find the figure first, find the section in the figure second, and then read the question. And I think you'll do a lot uh, better. The other thing is that, I mean, saved me, I feel like, is using the legend. A lot of the questions, the answers are actually found in the legend. So if it's talking about, you know, what airspace, uh, what the height is and some different stuff, or, or like, what does this icon mean? Like I kind of knew what the icon meant, but I went back and checked because it's right in the legend. Uh, so many of the answers to the test are in the legend. And so if you just go there, chances are you can at least uh, verify that maybe your answer was right. But I had uh, three of them, I think, that I was pretty sure I knew. But I was like, you know what, I'm just going to check the legend. So I went back in and boom, right there, all the info's right there. So you have plenty of time to take this test. And so don't second guess yourself. Go to the legend, read what the different, uh, you know, color lines and what the airspaces are and what it means and and you can literally get a bunch of answers right from the book if you take your time and read it and that's the other thing i would say take your time the minute you feel like you're thrown off because some of these questions were a little tricky and intentionally tricky i didn't really like that about the test right like i get you know, you want to make sure people understand, but you also don't want to trick people into picking a wrong answer. And so some of the test questions were tricky. And as soon as you feel like you, you don't know, or you start to get that fluster, like stop, read it again, slowly, and really look at what the question is asking. And I think that'll help you out a ton. But look, if you're somebody that needs to get uh, this certification for their business, right? Like we're in real estate, like we need to have it. Um, you got to get it. It doesn't take that much work, right? Like I literally, I just went all in on learning the stuff um, for less than 12 hours, right? And I, I 
learned what I needed to learn to take this test. And look, there's good information there. Like there's stuff that I didn't know before that I, I will actually use. Um, and so there's no reason not to dive in, uh, get scheduled, take the test. If you're like me, you just have to put it on the schedule. Cause if it's on the schedule, you'll do the study and to pass it. Uh, watch the videos. Look, the videos are great. I hope one of these experts will maybe make an updated video based on the stuff that they're asking now. Cause most of this stuff's from like 2016, 2017, we could use an update. It's 2020. And, uh, the test is a lot different than the practice tests that I took. So that's my recap. I just passed it. I hope that helps somebody out there. And, uh, if you think this is a good video, you should subscribe to other ones, right? Right there. That's where we're going to put my face right there. So, uh, yeah, good luck.